I'm gonna zoom in. And I need to turn this light down though. There we go. Or maybe off. Well, you're live, so. No, you can turn the light on. Alright. Where's the new cord I just gave you today? I don't really know. I'm not stressed. Thanks, downstairs. You have three people on, too. So. Oh, I do? Oh, it doesn't pop up who's on anymore. There it goes. Oh, okay. Give me a second. <laughs> Let it catch up. How's it going, everybody? Um, as always, we're just going to wait till we get a few more people on to go ahead and start. But, uh, yeah. Wait, what are you looking at? It's just dark. Oh, I don't yeah. like that. It's so dark so early. It's like dark in my bathroom earlier, and it's dark. It's like I'm in shadows. <laughs> yep. Hey, Mr. Maynard. So, the fly that I'll be tying today is the, uh, micro finesse game changer it's got four different shanks in it this one does and it's also got uh two hooks in it for uh steelhead fishing soon <laughs> hey mr miller how are you doing hey cj okay we're gonna do it i just feel like i'm unprepared what's up mr rakes I guess uh, what's up, little homie, is Tyler. <laughs> On the device. Huh? <laughs> I should know Tyler. I'm just getting this. I'll tell you in one second. Here we go. Expand. Yep. So. Nope, that would be Tim. Oh, that's Tim. Really? <laughs> Did not expect that. Oh, well, I can't <laughs> say that. Oh, yeah. That just got off the phone with Steelhead Guides is Tim. Oh, cool. Oh, oh no. Homie was Tim, too. All right, we got 55 people. Yep. What time is it? Uh, it's only 7 or 2, so make some small talk till about yeah. three more minutes. So, again, this is that uh, the fly, the micro finesse game changer. Uh, it's very good for finicky fish or imitating any small bait. You can color it up, use different materials like feathers, synthetics like this one is. And um, this one, I've tied them up to having six different shanks in them. This one happens to just have four. Um, but what's that? I said I need to. Oh yeah. But uh, I mean, I've tied them up to this size. You can make them bigger, bulkier. This one actually caught some false albacore recently. But I mean, they work for. I mean, here's one that's really beaten up. That one used to be all white. But I mean. You can tie on that size. That that's the fin that's the micro finesse changer. Here's just like a regular finesse changer. This one has a uh, has a blade on the back end of it. Hold them up side by side. Oh yeah, see you. So here's a side by side for the uh, micro and the regular sized changer. I mean the shanks are completely different, but they still swim just as good as the larger ones, and they're super good. Mike from Texas, uh, Trevor Noon's on from Ireland, he says it's midnight over there. Oh, wow. Go from Australia. <laughs> FYI, I'll be needing a few of those, all white with the green back. That sounds like Tim, he asked for some earlier. What is my face up? Do what? I don't know why you're putting that thing in, you're going to take it right back out. <laughs> Here, a little bit. All right, cool. How many we got? About 80? All Lest right. you miss the tropical storm in Silva. Oh, yes, we did. Oh, yeah. Um, the blade on the back. So, it's got a uh, conventional, like, uh, it's a willow blade, like you would use on an underspin or on a uh, smaller blade on a spinnerbait. But, uh, Grant from the Ville. <laughs> <laughs> Dork. <laughs> But um, you, you clip it on to the back end of the game changer shank, like you would clip in a shank, but instead of clipping in a shank, you're just clipping in a uh, a blade. I, I haven't tried it out yet. I've seen from a bunch of other people of them doing it. Out. I mean, it still swims great, but it's adding a little bit extra flash and just something different. Oh, for anybody who doesn't know Grant, Grant lives very close to us and is very good friends with our family and him and Braden go fishing a lot. So 
If you're wondering why I called him a dork, that would be why. Yes. We are allowed to, that's why. <laughs> Alright, it's 7.05, dark out. Alrighty. Let me get this out with one hand. There we go. Okay, cool. So. Brian said brilliant. Oh, hey Dave. Hey, hey Mr. Davis. Alright, we're going to go ahead and get started. So, I'm probably going to zoom in for this. Um, might want to talk with one. Yeah, if you have so, tool, yeah, tool, can you do that? This. Because I don't want to mess it up. I always <laughs> tend to mess it up. Well, we have a new tripod, so if anything seems a little crazy tonight, that's why. Apparently, it's a lot taller than our last one. And it doesn't change heights at all. So. Just adjusting something different. So the first hook I have in the vise, um, I honestly, a lot of times I don't tie these with, I mean, all of them, all the, fin all the micro finesse changers that I've tied, all the micro changers I've tied so far, I haven't done a, uh, a rear hook on them. I just started doing the rear hook as one of the guides at a uh, steelhead alley outfitter said to put one on for the steelhead when they're short striking and all that. So I already got a hook in the vise. So still warming up. Um, you haven't even done anything all day. So the first hook is a, let me get the name up for y'all, Kona Big Game Hunter. This is the size 8 that I have in the vise right now. The front hook is going to be a Kona Big Game Hunter number 2. Um, they're super strong hooks. I've used both the size 8, uh, 6, 1, and 2 up to the 4 out from everything from small bass and trout up to albacore. So, I mean, they do great. They're super strong hooks. Before you start, you need to tell everybody, remind everybody about the shares. What? Uh, what do we give away? Norvise Net Gator and Shrimp and Gores. How many? 50? Every 50 shares. So, for every 50 shares, let me move this out a little bit. For every 50 shares on this uh, Facebook Live, Norvise will be giving away a stripping guard or a set. A set of stripping guards. So, two. And then um, a net gator. So just keep that in mind with all your shares. Well, You'll be entered to win uh, every 50 shares. And to make it easier on me, if you're not sharing your uh, post public, if you would post in here that you shared, I would greatly appreciate it. Sometimes it shows up, sometimes it doesn't. But that's the best way for me to see who shared is through this, through posting a comment that you did share. Thanks for sharing twice, Jake. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Jordan. <laughs> all right. I'll get so, to all your comments in a minute. If you miss any, I'm just having to finish my sharing. Just get a small thread base going. Um, I've used everything from uh, Marabou for the tails, like for this one here. And then I've used rubber legs, straight flash, or... Uh, <laughs> See, you did tell me I was going to get it out in a second. Um, Where's the stand? Or these uh, stands back there in the closet. Mm -hmm. Or these uh, fly suede or pseudo tails. Um, I've also taken the, uh, the CK bait fish tails from Eastern Trophies and I've trimmed them down to do stuff like this. But uh, they do great. They're super durable. But this marabou really, really moves. So I'm going to take off a good feather, or plume, strip off all the fibers I don't want, clean that up a bit. I kind of like a fairly long tail on these, just because it really adds some more action. A few wraps there. You have several on here from Canada. Just so you know, I'll just take a look. There we go. Cool. So, also, when I trim off marabou a lot, I just cord it up really tight and snip it off. Just because it does a little bit tighter of a cut. And I feel like I don't do accidentally cut my thread as much. Alright, so clean this up a little bit. I mean, this fly is pretty much all one material, other than the shanks and everything else. 
So oh, I've got the got this material in the wrong pack. So this is you don't have a pack for that. Yeah, they're all of them are in the wrong packs. <laughs> well, you didn't get a pack. Glenn gave you that at the um. Oh yeah, yeah. What's the it called? Tie fest. So this is uh, chocolates finesse game changer chenille. The finesse, not the uh, original game changer chenille. This is the game changer chenille. So as you can see, it's a bit thicker material, and I mean, just a whole lot more material in general. But I like using the original game changer chenille for like uh, my front hook section because it really bulks it up and it adds a whole lot of movement to the fly with that bulkiness. I'm not ignoring your text, Tim. I'm still on Braden's phone sharing. <laughs> so there we go. Just picking off, trying to clean this up a bit. After I cleaned up that little piece of uh, cord there, tie that in a few tight wraps, and let's see. Just added the tension down to my vise so I can walk this material around easier and I can really place it exactly where I want it. I want this stuff packed tight to each other, pretty much touching wraps. And as I'm walking this forward with the vise, I'm stroking back these fibers as I'm laying down each wrap next to each other so I don't trap any fibers and that's just gonna give you a more fuller body and your fly is just gonna look a whole lot nicer at the end. I don't know what it is with this one pack of pink but it keeps like shredding itself. It's weird. Thank you, Paul. Cousin Eddie is on tonight. Cousin Eddie is. We're gonna see you in a week. It's been a while. I know he's missed me. <laughs> <laughs> but like, God, I'm gonna deal with her for how many days? <laughs> okay, let me see if I can go, go through here. Can you add a there micro shank onto a regular size? Um. Uh, let me read that again. Can you add a micro game changer shank to a regular game changer shank? Uh, you can add a regular game changer shank to a um, micro, but clipping the micro into the regular shank is really difficult because of the clearance you have on the shank. It's really, really small, where the original shank can just slide through the smaller shank easy. <laughs> I mean, it's just got such a small gap that it really won't even pivot enough to move right. Donnie, can you see his face better? I just saw your com your comment. And you can show what you can clip into what after you've done at the end of time tonight. Okay. Hey, Braden from Vermont. Hey, Larry, can I buy from you? <laughs> you can answer that, would you like I mean? Who said that? Where? The door rat. Can they buy from you? Flies? Yeah. What? That thing. I've got more kids than you to deal with. And I know. I'm getting text messages. Alright, so just picking all this out, making sure I've got everything that may have been trapped. This is Solrez Bone Dry. It's a very thin viscosity uh, UV resin that you can just apply to coat your thread. Dries super quick with it being UV. Alright. So, how I do these micro finesse changers 
I know people who trim them different ways, like Grant, he likes tying the flies all the way through and then trimming them uh, down all at the end. I've been doing them section by section, trimming them as I go, just to get exactly what taper I, I want. And um, yeah, I just like doing this way. Um, I was laughing because I'm reading questions from where I was pre-posting and sharing and whatnot. And Tim posted, if they saw his Halloween costume, they would understand. Who's Halloween costume? The pumpkin. Grant. Uh, yeah. Oh, CJ said he got five for How do you like it, CJ? Brady just did a live, uh, not a live, but a recorded uh, time video. His mm -hmm. mahi minnow with the fly fur. And, and the, be uh, out yeah. on the River Sage Journal online today or tomorrow frank said makes sense he agrees with sao i guess something about whatever you added to whatever i don't know steel alley you well i know that with the part. with the rear hook curious what sort of thread are you using they were a little late to the thing that's okay yep. i'm a little late myself <laughs> So the thread I have on right now, I'm actually got my, as I was pulling up earlier, my uh, Simperfly, uh, what's the name? The, uh, not the original, but the, uh, man, I can't think of the name. It's over there somewhere. Oh, yeah. uh, nano Silk, the uh, Simperfly Nano Silk, the, I want to say, yeah, six out. So the six out is just compared to a hundred, to a uh, hundred denier GSP. And I really like it, even though it's slick, like GSP is. Speaking of thread, we should have a bet going on when you're going to break your thread tonight. Oh, yeah, we should do that every night. Funny thing is, yep. when you're tying, doing a tying video, I don't just recording it, yeah. you don't break your thread. That or when I'm just tying with nothing at all. So, sorry that this is going to take a little while, but I like just taking my time with it because if I make one wrong cut, the whole fly looks stupid. Yo, tie an egg changer, like 14 different eggs, each on individual shanks, trying to look like a Skittles truck dumped into the river. Exactly. <laughs> well, kind of, you kind of did one of those. Yeah, the food, food, uh, get, no, food chain no, game no, changer. No, not that one. The one you tied... Um, that the dad bought for his daughter that does art with oh, flies yeah, the Skittles. down at um yeah that was cool I really Talk wish I uh, wish I still had that one you wish you had every fly and Tim can attest to that I would love to fish that one for small now. oh this got shared to the Mako Fly Fishers Club page oh cool Jake right. says he shared with twelve people nicely done young buck. Thank you. All share in Brunswick, Canada. Alright, so. Mike said only on the middle right, so I must have missed something while I was sharing. Only really tedious part of clipping the shank in is really with this one back hook. Everything else is <laughs> smooth. Someone said lice comb. Question mark. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've had people ask that. <laughs> so this is the loon ergo comb, and uh, I've also got the the knit comb. Oh yeah. That's the, what they're talking about. So the reason why I stopped using these uh, the plastic ones is because the, I ended up breaking them, the as you comb. can see. It's it's a lice comb. That's all it is. It didn't come in that, but that's what it looks like. Yeah. But um, this is just the Loon Ergo Comb. I mean, it's it's strong, durable. I haven't broke any of them yet, and it picks out everything. Yet. Yes. He breaks everything. I tend to break everything. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Thompson. Paul Beal says hello, and Tim says Paul just joined the Norbase family. He bought his own Norbase the other day. Oh, cool. Have you ever made your own shanks? I have not. I've had people tell me to, but I don't know. I. I like the Flyman Shanks a lot, and uh, I don't know. I just, 
I don't know how I feel about making my own shanks. I know they work. I know a ton of people do them, but. This way, so... mom just has to buy the shanks and Brady just has to tie. Yeah. <laughs> Let's work on Brady. No. Um, James Ash says, good to see you back. I've been waiting. How's the fishing? Fishing's James? been great. He's been doing nothing but fishing recently. He's been to, we've been to what? Emerald Isle since you were on last. Fished with Andrew Campbell mm -hmm. and Jake Jordan. And then we went to Silver, North Carolina. And you caught what? What, what fishing um, did you do there? Down at we Shop. did uh, some tight line nymphing for wild rainbows. And Tim got a r nice wild brown. If you missed it, we had a contest of who caught the smallest fish down there for the first time ever smallest fish award Braden literally came back he was home maybe four or five days and then went back to harker's fishing with andrew campbell for albies four and days. what albies and blues and then you fished albies, with Jake. blues bull reds and uh yeah and then he finished off his weekend again with it back on andrew's boat he came home at midnight last Monday and then left the house at 8.30 the next Tuesday morning to go trout fishing with his grandfather. It's been awesome. He's been on fishing restriction, so he's not tired when he gets up to Steel Hut Alley. <laughs> what scissors are you using to trim that chenille? So the scissors, I actually use a couple pairs that I really like. Um, I'll get them out here in a second. But the pair I'm using currently is... Uh, Pat Cohen's uh, Superfly scissors, and I mean, I really like them a lot. I mean, everything from deer hair, natural uh, materials, and synthetics. Um, they're, these are, yeah, these are the serrated ones, not the smooth ones. Isn't Pat still using his prototype scissors? No, Hair Packer. Oh, that's what it was. Andrew Campbell, do you ever trim the fly from the rear? Um, every time I've done that, I end up doing a, like a jagged cut on it or like a more of a square cut and it just, the fly turns out not as, uh, it's like smooth and tapered. Excuse me. He said against the angle. Yep. I had to go down a comment or two. Someone said, are you trimming to a round profile or an oval profile? Uh, I mean, I've done them everything from more of like a. A slight taper like this one here where it's more of like a smelt or a shiner or being that one's for four not for um for steelhead nice try It'd be like the only time you ever say it correctly tonight and i've also done them where it's more of a uh more of an aggressive taper and a short fat body like a small menhaden or um anchovy for albacore like this one was tied for but depending on Whatever size uh, chenille you tie with or however you want to trim it, you can tie it and trim it down to uh, whatever species you want to tie it for. Grant says trimming section by section is definitely better if you don't have basically brand new razor scissors. After yes. trimming them full length, new scissors only last about 10 flies. I guarantee you I just lost a game changer somewhere. I guarantee you we'll find it later. Yeah, it's gone. Not like it's going to get up and walk away. R.I.P. Lost forever. Alright. Go ahead and clean this up. My only issue I've had with these micro shanks is my thread slipping into the oh, eye dear of them. Lordy. What's that? Thanks for bringing that up, Tim. Did the grandmother that was showing you bikini pics of her granddaughter <laughs> buy anything while we were in Silva? Yes, she did. She actually bought two flies from him. What she bought? Um, the all-white micro? Did you just mix up the pokey thingy? Pokey thing and bent. That's okay. I ordered you a new one. <laughs> okay. Thank you. So what? Dang Grandma it, that's bought... That's it. This is an expensive one. Grandma bought what? The all white micro game changer? Yep. And the then game changer a... I was tying so I could take it out core fishing. And then she bought what? The tan and white bait fish with flapper? Yep. We've not there heard we from go. her by the way. Luckily. <laughs> She's very nice, but she can keep her granddaughter. No offense. Chris Thompson says, "Keep on doing what, you, keep on doing your thing, little brother." Hi, Chris. All right, which Norvice do you Norvice vice do you use? 
So this is the Legacy series with the, I'll zoom out to show you real quick. This is the Legacy series. See, I can't do this. Okay, back it up. I'm incapable. Why, why are you turning your head like that? Cause I, I don't, it's, it's so, I don't know. Okay, look, I don't normally zoom in and out with the camera. So Gotta this is the Norvius with, uh, Norvius Legacy Vice with the large stainless hubs on them. I really like the large hubs. And unlike Tim, I like the arm. You can't see it, but arm right here. I like that like I was doing earlier where I can, rather than having it loose a lot, I like to tighten it down a little bit. Yeah, let me just bring it all over here for you. Okay, well, I like to tighten it down for stuff that is, I want like right on top of each other like this game changer or whatever else, or something really precise, I like to slow it down and walk it with my finger or my thumb. So it's just something I like to do. I really like the large hubs because it ends up spinning the vise faster. And yeah, I mean, that's just what I like to do. So. You like to walk it, you take your vise for a walk. Mm -hmm. okay. Yep. Are you ready to zoom back in? Yep. How's All that right. precious? You good to go? Should be. Put that over right. I'm gonna have to find a bendable one. I don't like that. Yeah, this, I don't really like this one. All right. Seeing my boy tying up the nest changers brings a tear to my eye. Makes <laughs> me proud. I'm not crying. Yo, you're crying, dear Lord. Is that Grant? Of course. I freaking do it. Duke says, I always tie three flies. One for the tree, one for the bottom, and one for the fish. Yeah, well, I gotta tie about 50 of these for three different people. Um, hello. Your mother's been fishing. Don't forget her. All right, I gotta tie 75 then. So, the whole reason why Grant's saying that is because he's been trying to get me to tie these for, like, a year now. And I just, I don't know. I've never really liked them that much. And then I started tying them, and I love them. Ben Cleveland, amazing tie man. <laughs> Thank you. You have a full week of steelhead fishing, dude. What in the world? Some weird conversation. I'm sure that you and Weirdo here have had. What's you, that? Grant wondering about a couch auction. Oh my! Don't don't engage, mom. Don't I'm engage. Not. <laughs> Mike Dunlop's on. He said, "What's up, buddy?" So he's living vicariously through you with all your fishing adventures. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Dunlop. The couch isn't for sale. Stop. You two stop now. David Radcliffe would like to know: Have you tied? Or have you tried adding a rattle to the fl this fly? Um, not the micros because I'm generally using uh, really shorter shank hooks. Where with I've got it. Oh, dear Jesus! That's okay. Um, where this game changer like this one here actually has two stacked in it. Where it's got two glass rattles. That one's got, and then. And then this one here, let me zoom out for y'all. I'm sure y'all love that. Um, this one here, this big crafty changer actually has a, uh, a large glass rattle up in the head around here, behind the eyes here. And I just wrapped and tied all the materials over top of it. But I'm... I like adding rattles in them. I honestly don't do it enough, I think, but either I forget them or I lose the rattles as I'm tying. Um, but yeah, it's, they're cool. Get the time. Okay. But with the micro ones, like I said, um, using that shorter shank hook, it can uh, kind of be either get in the way or It'll just make the fly look more awkward, in my opinion. Because you'll have, like, one big bump of material. That one there somewhere. But, only really hard thing and tedious part of this fly is just the trimming. It can get annoying if you mess up a section and... Honestly, a whole lot, a lot of times when I mess up a section, I'll go back and I'll take a razor and cut off all the material and redo it while I'm tying, just so 
I don't have, I mean, if it doesn't look right, it'll stay in my box and I won't fish it. I mean, it's just, that's just how I am. That's for sure. <laughs> Jake said, nice shirt. They're going to go, we're going to have him back up again on his website, hopefully this week, because my sister is bugging me because she wants to order another sweatshirt. She said she lives in hers. CJ Morgan, Brayden, you're too young for that stuff. And besides, you don't have time for a woman right now. Thank you. <laughs> Is that a dog flea comb? <laughs> you know, I've never tried one of those dog flea combs yet. Who's a better tire? You or Tim? At first, I saw, thought it said Tyler when I saw the tire at first. <laughs> oh. I don't know. Probably Tim. He's been doing it longer. That's a good answer. <laughs> Walking advice must be a southern thing. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Matthew. Oh. What are your winter plans species wise? Um, more trout fishing coming up. Um Probably going down to Harker's for albacore. What? Full redfish. No way. Um, Nobody show Brayden the fishing report from Harker's for another two weeks. I saw freaking pictures. I did The too. day after we left. I'm going to have to unfollow Andrew and Jake on your page. Everything until after you come back. Because I don't want to hear it. There we go. Oh, I'm sure Andrew will, be, Andrew will send me pictures of what's going on. Alright, so. All I've done now, I clipped in my... Oh, sorry, I forgot to tell you about that. Um, the shank sizes for the micros. Um, they have a tail shank, a 6mm shank, and then this is the 8mm shank. I like, doing, I like honestly using the 8mm shank more out of all of them um especially for the tail for the tail i'll just tie in the marabou and wrap that first section just like i did with the hook but i mean it's just what i prefer but you can definitely do a lot of six millimeter shanks where if you do the six millimeter shanks you definitely get a ton of action and you get a uh a ton of action and a more compact body but you can just you, you can do whatever shank company combination you want it's an ambulance it sounded like one off like a tv show you would hear didn't it yeah. it sound right i was listening to that myself watch tim's gonna bring up me wrapping this traditionally well then you ought to do it correctly Guess he made mm. a dub right. <laughs> he just told you right answer, young grasshopper, and now he's about to take it back. That's what he said. Uh-huh. <laughs> sure, your brother went to uh Bass Pro. Why'd he go to Bass Pro? I don't know why. Did he ask you if you needed anything? No. <laughs> he didn't ask me either. Alright, so. Just tied that off real quick. Sorry about, I was being quiet. I was in the zone there for a second. Um, so I wrapped that all the way up to the uh, eye of the shank. Tied that off, trimmed it off. Now I'm just picking out any fibers I might have trapped. Sean says... Only mamas aren't trouble. All other girls are trouble. Matt, I sent replied to you with a link to the Norvice um, lamp magnifier. You want to talk about your light really quick? Matt, he asked about your light. Cool, there we go. Um, sure, let me go ahead and tie this off and I'll show it and I'll talk about the... Uh, you can just say what it is, what it does. You can see it. Well, the, uh, the light, it's, uh, it has do... The light has two different, um, what's the name, brightnesses. So, of course, it's got the off button. Oh, my bad. Got the off button, the dim, and then it has the bright. 
but it, it's on a switch and it's also on a uh so if you have like an iphone charger or what's up any charger huh what's that plug called usb all right See? surprise i got this um so it's like a usb if you have any phone charger or a phone cube whatever um just plug that in and or if you have like a traveling charger like a Mophie or whatever like that to charge your phone um you can plug that in and you can have your light wherever sean says coming to delaware to fish for pickerel michael dunlop i would love Come to up to maryland for pickerel <laughs> i love pickerel i'll leave him in both locations for you all tim said you're on lockdown for a week I can, I can still go over there. It's all good. <laughs> um, Tristan would like to know how long did it take you to get used to the Norvice bobbins? Uh, the bobbins, honestly, I mean, after a couple times of just cutting off my thread and not holding on to them, it was like just muscle memory of just not. Uh, I would say it probably took me a day, honestly, to really stop cutting my thread just dropping the bobbin but after a day or two you kind of start to remember how to use it and how to what not to do with it i should say but it's it's all muscle memory so it doesn't take a really long time james bass would like to know is this your favorite fly to use um i would say the game changer series is my favorite fly to use if anybody knows Braden, that's not a shocker. <laughs> yep. Hi, everyone. Watching from Liverpool in the UK. There we go. All right, you so. ever came here to somewhere in Canada for Atlantic salmon fishing? He has not. Tim and I were just talking about redoing his passport because we're going to have to go up there soon. And soon, I mean, there's no trip planned anytime soon. Yep, but I would love to. All right, so, um, as I'm trimming this, if you can tell by these last few shanks, I'm just elevating my taper, just making it slightly larger each time. That's just to build up the profile. I should probably zoom in again. Oh, that's sweet. What is he doing? Uh, I don't know if it zoomed in enough or whatever, but. If what you need it more, let me know. I'll fix it for you. What we're working on. All right. But this fly is pretty much all trimming. So, I mean, this fly, honestly, after tying a few of them, they're really not all that hard. You just need to, oh, I should probably, probably should have brought that up, brought that little tip up. I'll show you on the, on this next shank when I start my thread. When, even on the, uh, original size of Game Changer shanks, you need to, if you really want a fuller body and not have any gaps in that. Uh, in your finesse changer you really want to go like tie back on the uh, shank like uh, what I mean is like tie back on the bend so I'm gonna try to have as much as that shank exposed there we go all right Tim says you have an open invitation to come up and fish pickerel with us maybe after the steelhead trip not if he doesn't finish the English paper. He ain't fishing for Jack. Yep. What is that hitting on? So, right where my thread is right now, straight at it, um, is where the bend or the triangle on the micro shank starts to uh, ramp up. But I just want to tie back onto that. And these flies still swim great, even with that smaller gap. 
that you're giving it. All right, there we go. Debbie, I'm hoping to have his sweatshirt link back up on his website this week. I meant to talk to my shirt lady Friday, but I forgot. <laughs> Duke said, oh, blame, heart, 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 heart. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> oh man, crush. Steps. Yeah, I think somebody's stomping up. Sounds like a mad Brantley or Bennett. Um, but just walking the vias with my hand as I'm striking back the fibers. Rama Fly Life says you're always welcome to come to Toronto for salmon and steelhead. Oh, that's awesome. I will <laughs> ship him to you. With his laptop. Look up. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. York, Dartmouth, etc. Crazy Atlantic salmon fishing. Oh, it's not. Besides the MGM materials, what else works good? Alright. Um, besides this game changer chenille, I've done a uh, micro feather changers on these shanks but instead of using filler flash as you would for the like the original size ones like four and a half up to seven inches long um you or not not what everybody uses but what i like to use is um just balls of ice stub like you would use for a uh, soft tackle or whatever dubbing you want to use but I, I like the ice dub because once I pick it out it uh it adds just a little bit of that uh, under flash to the body of the fly and it fills it up nice are you answering um, James's question by any chance to game change your material what else works good question yep okay good you know I can't text in do this at the same time. Alright, let's finish that off. Trim that off. And then pick it up. Oh, while you're picking there, to remind everybody about sharing. Um, Graham said your hands are in the way. It's hard to see what you're doing. I've got to have my hands there, so I don't, I don't know Graham what else said to do. Move it. You can't see the fly. So, for every 50 shares, Norvice will be giving away a pair of stripping guards and a Norvice neck gaiter. So, for every 50 shares, that's what they'll be giving away. Um, but if you comment on this live video that you shared or how many shares you did, it's just easier to keep track of instead of, and quicker, instead of having to go through everybody's, um posts and everything and i can't see if you don't have your page public so um you might want to say hi graham instead of hi graham <laughs> i'm sure pop was watching too and pop was wondering about the same thing any favorite brushes um the brushes so for this micro changer for the brushes i've used the i want to say it's uh it's a R RD, so Ronzetti Division um, materials, their brush, their whole brush line. Um, it's their, I want to say bait fish brush, the one inch, but uh, I can double check that real quick. You can double check when you finish this fly. Yeah, How about that? that's what I meant. Graydon, earlier you showed us larger game changers, so I would guess that you need to use larger shanks for those. Um. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, f 
or for the larger game changers. <laughs> Don't even I'm pass out. For the larger game changers, uh, um, after I trim this off on the shanks, but they they do use larger shanks and a bunch of different sizes. It's gonna be in that tub over there on the base and the other vice. On your other base and your other vice. Oh, here we go. So, nervous we're gonna do that. <laughs> so, Flyman came out with the original Game Changer shanks. That's a 10 millimeter. So they've got a thicker shank uh, wire size, and a instead of a instead of the micros where they have a triangle shape uh, bend, they have a round bend, like you would think. Um, there's a 20 millimeter. Standard Flyman Game Changer Shank, um, a 15 millimeter right here. My main ones that I use for the larger ones are 10s and 15s from Game Changers, uh, four and a half up to six inches long. Anything bigger than that, I'm either adding a 20 millimeter Game Changer Shank or a 20 millimeter Flyman Fish Spine, their articulated spine, where that one's got a, uh, actually that one right there, where it's got an even bigger uh bend thicker wire and it i think it just i don't know maybe it adds to the tape or something but i like adding that in and then they've also got their big game series or it's just even thicker wire and everything like that so they've got a whole line for any size game changer or whatever fly you would want to tie he says perfect thanks <laughs> you're welcome let's see What is the difference between, this is your mother asking this, what is the difference between an articulated shank from Fish Skull versus the articulated fish spine? The fish spine, is that the one Blaine came up with? Yes. So what's the articulated shank? Like what's the... The other shank is just, I don't know, it's just a different shank. It's a little bit thicker wire. Okay, I can see that. All right, so I've got a size eight Kona Big Game Hunter hook on the back, uh, three eight millimeter shanks going up to this last fourth uh, eight millimeter shank, and then go ahead, get a thread base going, snip that off. get as much as that shank exposed as I can and then I'm gonna tie back onto the bend there we go all right um, there it is get this finesse chenille again Tie that back up onto the bend. Let's see, there we go. All right, try to give him a half hitch on. Can't half hitch. You all bell off that you did a video on that. Mm -hmm. All right, so there we go. I'm gonna start working this finish chenille up the shank. Just touching wraps. I want this pack tight. Using a good amount of tension onto this. I want this fly to be durable. I want it to last. Um, surprisingly, I knew, well, I've had game changers that have caught tons of fish before, but 
I didn't know how they were gonna be come for the apple corn all, but they they stood up really well. I gotta redo all of that. There we go. All right. Sorry about that. I just messed it up. I had one really open gap. Thank you, James. I'm guessing Tim deleted that. Walked it all the way up to the shank eye. I think that's pretty good. Johnny said, dang, people keep calling me. I'm missing the whole show. Oh, <laughs> so I'm going to have to watch it over on YouTube. It will be up there most likely tomorrow, not by Tuesday. It will definitely be up there. It will also still be on, it'll be on Facebook um, tonight. As soon as this is ended, it'll be posted on the page. Grandma says very nice. Thank you. There we go. Alright, sorry that took a little bit longer than I wanted it to. Tie this back a bit. You missed um, a comment. Somebody was on here was in a nice term, not being so very nice. And you have a lot of people who were sticking up for you, so you might want to say thank you, and I'll fill you in on it all later. Okay. Thank y'all. There we go. He said a monkey can catch fish. You better watch it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, I didn't see that comment. All right, so that's all picked out, and then I'm gonna use this resin here on the head of that thread. Sean Miller, Mama Miller, can you get rid of him? We did. He's got, I'm catching up. Looks like he should be, not be able to be on here anymore. There we go. You should get a hair tip to hold your tail to the vise while you wrap the chenille. He has a drawer full of, oh look, there's one on his thing. <laughs> yeah, I need to use it. I just keep forgetting about it. I need to use it and then you flip it back. Well, when I'm trimming this, I like to hold this out. Oh, Lord. Why are you in this room? What you're looking for? Mm -hmm. Can you come here? Here we go. Is your back facing? No. Why are you back downstairs. I cannot do that from here. You... All right, so I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to finish trimming that once I've got that attached to this front hook here. He's just wandering around. I'm looking for Blake. He's been gone for how many hours now? A couple. All right, so get a good thread base. So I can tie down that wire. And the wire I like to use on these uh, micro changers. This is the Sinyo's small. or And you can also use the medium. Um, his intruder wire. Is this the thin or the standard? It's 
small. Well, I was gonna let you show it. Oh yeah. And one thin, one standard kind of length. So. Yep, I just like using that. Um, any of the larger changers, I like using the. Uh, it's a wire, uh, in the local place near us. It's a. Berkeley's. I want to say it's the nylon coated stainless steel wire. I've used the 30 and the 40 pound, and that stuff does great. Richard Jen says, "Why TFO?" Why TFO? Because um, he breaks stuff a lot. <laughs> I do break stuff a lot. Um, that's one reason why. And I mean, they're a great company. Everything's affordable. And everybody there's either helped me out some way or, or just, I mean, anything like that. I mean, everything is got a warranty on it. It's got, I really love their no fault lifetime warranty on every rod they have because like mom said i do break rods a lot um either i'm being clumsy with it stupid with it or just not paying attention and i don't know how many rods did i break in like a month like three of yours one of jake's yeah so if that tells you anything Were they all fishing? Um, yeah. Yeah, they were. One was just casting. That was my fault. One was on a shark. Oh, your Ani said, hey, bud. Hey, Ani. Andrew said they just rule. Exactly. TFO is like a family and stands behind their product. Yep. And just about everyone there I look up to. Jake said <laughs> one of Jake's. Brady only brought but I broke, I broke one. one. Blake broke one. Will broke one. Mom did not break a fly rod or a conventional rod. Alright, that looks good so far. I might clean it up later. All right, so the same material I've been using the whole time. You can also call the phone number to TFO and they will answer and you can get a live person on the phone, no issues. Moving this all around the, uh... Jake said the it's a point. family thing. It's a family thing? Is that what he said? Mm-hmm. Talking about y'all breaking rods. Something like that. Especially on this head, I really want to get this material packed down tight and close to each other. Whatever color combo Tim was talking about earlier, I gotta, I'll tie that one up next. Just so I remember which ones I gotta tie. Hey buddy, that's awesome. I'm, I love it. I'm full into fishing. <laughs> Thank you. Here we go, packing this really tight up to the head, as tight as I can get it. Alright, let me see where we are on shares.
every few reps, right then I was uh, picking out the uh, finesse chenille. Well, we are at 311 shares. Wow. Huh. Is that a new most? Mm. Oh. All right. It's a close one. Tie this off. Three tight behind it. Three tight in front of it. And snip it off. All right. Um. Yes, that would be. I have not had to pick that many winners yet. Here we go. Go ahead and whip finish. Right there. Every time you doff say whip finish, I still think that time when Tim said it over and over again and I was thinking of the song in my head. I don't even know what you're talking about. You're too young. I'm I'm not too young too, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna trim up the uh this material on the front hook just a tad not too much because I do want that little bit bulkier head and this material is gonna lay down a tad in the water so uh, someone said they missed what hook Oh no, yeah, I missed it. What is the head hook? So both hooks are the Kona Big Game Hunter hook, uh, but the rear hook is the size eight and the front hook is the number two. Tim says all white and use an emerald green Copic marker on the back. I don't have emerald green. I'm sure you do. You've got a marker bag all over there. I've got forest there. green, I know for sure. Maybe that's why my I'm kind of why it doesn't like to charge. No, nah, it'll charge, but it just keeps saying it's dead when it's not. All right, let's see. Get all of that fuzz out of it. There we go. Just Jake says he's going to sleep now, fishing early. <laughs> yes, sir. He has no mate tomorrow. Oh, no. Let me know. I can send one down for you in two weeks. <laughs> you might be it. a little tired. That's all right. I can still lead the fish. <laughs> uh, Richard Jones says, this is considered a micro? This one is. Um, you know what? Let me... Uh... Well, I thought you put the thing in all the way. I don't know how it works. Yeah, so that's the micro changer versus a uh, like a 12 inch changer. Kevin would like to know what thread you're using. Ooh. Oh, one second. There we go. Um, this is the Semperfly Nano Silk uh, Six Dot. It's compared to the uh, 100 Denier GSP. But I also like the uh, Vivas 140 Power Thread and other Vivas products too. But Semperfly is pretty sweet. Alright, I think that looks good to me. Might touch it up a bit. <laughs> See, later. Andrew said whip it. Whip it good. <laughs> oh, I know what song you're talking about. Tim says, good stuff, dude. Put it on some eyes. These are one fourth of an inch uh, adhesive pearl eyes. I'm just gonna glue them on with some Loctite gel control. Great looking fly. Do they make a starter kit for game changers? Actually, Flyman does for both the micro and the uh, regular size shanks. I think you just might be talking about material and everything. I'll Not think. everything, but the material and hooks. So, just shanks. Yep. 
Torque. <laughs> how am I? How am I in advanced classes? Cause you book smart. Fly smart, but not street smart. <laughs> You're not on the street very often. You're in the water more than the street, so it's okay. <laughs> yep. Alright, those eyes are actually like spot on where they need to be. Some of the best eyes I've ever put on. Oh, for God's sake. Sorry, Tim, this one might be in my box. Oh, wait, it is. <laughs> All right, so the uh, resin I'm using right now, this is the Solares Flex formula. I'm just applying some around my thread, around the eyes, around the base of the eyes, and basically, I can form a head with this. I can apply. The main reason why I'm doing this is just to make sure my eyes are going to be more durable. Honestly, it's really the only reason why. But I can also like shape the head of this fly and get it to exactly what I want. Just like that, there is a, take a little bit of this bone dry at the base of it here. Uh, please show that technique of whip finishing. I like it. Okay. The second time in what about a minute? Don't even ask me. Yeah, I can do that again. Um, and then if you want to see it after that again, too, I'm finding your there's a, uh, a video on is it on Norrice or yes, it's on Norrice. I believe it's on your website, too. I believe I could be wrong. I can't keep up with yeah. putting stuff on there. I'm finding it right now, though. On YouTube. Cool. There we go. But there is a little micro game changer with a uh, rear hook in it. Those things are really sweet on small little creek bass and albacore. I love them. And soon to be. Hopefully. Steelhead really soon. All right, so I need to do all white and that green. Okay. Yeah, yeah we're done. All right, so let me do that with finish. Clean that up. I need a hook. You have a lock. I know. I don't want to use an expensive hook. Those are still not I, the cheap ones. Those. I don't even know what hooks these are. Alright, so that whip finish, that's just Alright, here is the whip finish. So take my two fingers, lay it across my thread. I'm just bringing my bobbin over top, over top of my fingers there. And then you just walk your fingers. I mean, yeah, I can do this. Let's see. 
I mean, and then I just pull back to tighten it. But, I mean, it's just, after doing it a lot, it really isn't all that hard. I mean, I can... And then pull that tight. All right. Once I find the video, it has how to, to do the whip finish with the tool and by hand. So we're going to do one more game changer. Tim's color uh, pattern that he wants. Put in this little hook in the back. Again, that size eight big game hunter from Kona. I think I'm just gonna do add white and a olive. Guess I'm gonna do olive for the tail. Tim's, Tim wants it all white. You just said all white with a green back. He wants you to use a marker. This one I've right got here. to do a color for the tail. He says all white. He did not say that. He said he wanted. I'm not going to color the color of the marabou. Hmm. You take it up, Tim. Sounds like he wants to tie his own. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you want to stay home. Let me go over here really quick. Come on, Sam. Do you need to add lead wire to the shank to kill the action? Um, with these smaller ones, I honestly, I don't, I don't bother with it. I haven't found a big difference with it. Um, even with the freshwater stuff like the small creek bass and trout and all that, and even the uh, albacore stuff I've done with it, I haven't seen a difference in it with the micros at all. But the bigger ones, I, I definitely do it with them. Um, Actually, I think I do it every time with them. What size shanks did you use tonight? Um, I used all, all the shanks I used tonight were the eight millimeter micros. They were, I want to say I used four of them. John McMahon says hi. Hey, Mr. McMahon. Nice work, super impressive. Well, it's on Norvice. I'll watch it there. Uh, James, I'm still trying to find it for you. And actually, I'm not 100% sure, sure where it's located. There we go. Alright, so. Live site. This is, instead of using the pink finesse chenille, this is the white. Just going to tie that in again. In fact, that marabou. Wrap forward. Bring my thread over and use the vise. Got Mary Wood all up in my nose now. Every time. Is it raining again? What? I don't know. I don't know if that's wind or rain. I have no idea. I want to say something. I always say something I think about. Wind. I couldn't read it yet. Starting to hate the rain recently. It's supposed to be good for your fishing, isn't it? Oh, it's good for steelhead, but literally nothing else right here. <laughs> Used the vise with that all the way up, picked it out. Oh, you want to know why no one had seen it? Why? Because it was stuck in the drafts and I just posted it on your website not too long ago. Oh. So, let me put it over here. There we go. Down. All right, 
so make sure I pick all this out again. Trim this up real quick after I put some glue down. Where did my light go? Tim said this flies for me and you don't want to use the expensive hook. <laughs> no, no, no. That was for the, uh, for the whip finish. Oh, don't worry. I got to tie some of these for me too. By the time he's done, he won't know whose is whose. They're all going in the, in the just in case. Don't worry. It's all right. What retrieve have you found to work best for this fly? Uh, for the micros, uh, for all the bass and trout I've done, it's been a uh, few small twitches and then letting it flutter down like it's a dying bait fish and then it kind of like swims on its own on its way down. And then for the albacore, it's just been either short, fast strips really for until they eat and then or just a two-hand strip all the way in and it swims the whole way. But um, I really like the little short jerk strips like two three of them and you can mix it up and then it starts to flutter down like a dying bait fish and that does really well for just about everything Putting the final trimming on this shank or the hook, I mean. Right, well, why do you do that? Do you, remember, do you remember what I told you to talk about tonight? Or mention? I don't. Okay, I figured. I will. So, just so everyone is, knows and can prepare. Put this in your phone. There will be a new announcement um, for a cool new product coming out. Um, oh. We will be announcing it on Thanksgiving Day. It will not, I do not, well it says dropping on Thanksgiving Day. That's, yeah. Tim, we're no. dropping Thanksgiving Day, announcing Thanksgiving Day, and then selling, starting to, on the website Black Friday. Or on the website on Thanksgiving. We'll leave that answer to you. <laughs> We're like, oh. <laughs> I know. I thought I knew the answer. I don't know how I forgot about that special thing. Well, it's better I said it anyway. Cause... <laughs> yeah, I might have messed it up. Dutton's on. Hey, Mr. Dutton. Go ahead and thread down on this shank. Richard Jen says, Smallies love the pause and drop. Uh, let's see what this is. A genius, this young person. <laughs> Thank you so much. That is in French. So. Uh, got to stall on the strip. Nice ties. Howard Miller tonight. My poor hot mess as usual. <laughs> Brett says she can't wait for Thanksgiving. They will be ready to sell the day we drop. You can buy on Thanksgiving Day. Look. Well, I guess everybody else starts selling stuff for uh, Christmas sales start on Thanksgiving these days. Oh, yeah. I guess so. I don't really go shopping for them, so I don't know. You don't really go shopping for anything except fishing-related. 
My my Christmas present even came from Green Top last year. Yeah. Wait, which one? The Yeti? Mm hmm No, that came from L.L. Bean, Mom. At the mall. I found it on, on discount. I got you. And you, you used to hate Yetis, but now you love them. Since I'm going to pay full price for them, I said I would never pay full price for a Yeti. You're welcome. I could use my whole Walmart cup. Same thing. I'm welcome. That made me knock you out of your chair. <laughs> I can't believe you're still saying it's the same thing. Do you want to put ice in two cups and leave them on the counter and see how long they last? You got to chill the Yeti, Mom. Uh, yeah. My igloo didn't need to be chilled before him. <laughs> Black Friday special. Mm. I don't know if I'd call it a special, special. item. <laughs> yes, a special item. Yes, a new, brand new item. Let me think. I haven't made it that far yet. Three hundred and fifteen people have shared this video with their friends. Wants to know if I want to share it. I've shared it enough. <laughs> All this out. Matthew Houston says, One thing I've learned from Braden is trimming. I've taken antique flies, in quotations, pretty flies, and trimmed them to something usable. Thank you for the tip. Awesome. You are welcome. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank well, you. You didn't have to do your hands like I did. I was doing that as, like, yeah. you know, wear your manners. Sorry. <laughs> Small drop right there. Alright. Only three more shanks to go. Come on. Oh my god. These things can be so annoying. There we go. with a slight taper in it just to start building up that body This fly, I mean, the only time, timely part of this fly is the trimming, and that's just because you want to take your time with it. Once you take it off, you can't put it back. And in the trash. <laughs> Sorry about this one, guys. This one's gonna take me a second. Why? Do you not like something on it? No, the trimming on. Just, it was kind of awkward there for a second in the vice. Alright, there we go. Richard Jones wants to know will you show them how to apply a marker to a white changer? Uh, when I'm done with this fly, that's exactly what I'll be doing. Oh yeah, I know. Comes out completely different than no. what it looks like. That those are two different colors. Mom, they look the same to me. Okay. 
I'm just I'm colorblind. They look the same to me, and I'm not colorblind. That's why I was like doing a double take there. Tie in this piece of finesse chenille right back. For what? Are oh, you gonna send them the pictures? Uh -huh. Oh my God! You scared the crap out of me, Blake. Is he on that? Yeah. Who is it? Can I walk in? You should walk in. You're talking. I mean, what's the difference if you walk in over here? Oh, no, you're talking at the door. I'm not allowed to come down here. Pray. Right. Right. I'm okay. Welcome to my side All right, of my so, there's the finish, you know, tie it off. Well, they can all hear you. It's going inside. I'm just, okay. <laughs> there we go. Whip finish. Yes, it is, actually. Trim that off. Cool. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. See ya. Well, I don't know how to pronounce your, uh, your last name, and I don't want to screw it up, but the thread I'm using is Six Sot Semperfly uh, Nano Silk. There you go, clipping our last shank there. I did not put on any resin. There we go. All right, so there we go, cool. Go ahead and trim this shank up. Mom, uh, Mom said she's texting you some colors there, Tim. Clipping this last shank, then we're on to the front hook. Running out of thread. All right, so again. Wrapping back on this, on the bend of the shank, that just helps take out any gaps in your uh, game changer. So, tie that back. Wrap that forward really quick. 
since I'm usually typing this, it's very last minute, just trying to make sure I got it, get it in. Next weekend, Tony Muncy will be tying. He will be tying crane fly larvas, he said. And Tony, if you're on, you wanna, well, you'll see it next week. Actually, you'll see it Tuesday when I posted up pictures, but Tony Muncy next week. Crane fly larvas, and the following week after that, Shannon Messer is back on. Big mess, as he is known, apparently. That was hilarious when we were at Silva. Um, I have no idea what he's tying yet, but these two weeks, and then third week, that's a, that is the third week of November, so the fourth week of November will be Tim. There we go. All right, snip that off. That's our fourth shank, last shank, and then we are putting on the hook. <laughs> Tim said big mess in the house. <laughs> if you've ever listened to, what is it? The Tuck Cast with a Splash of Bourbon and mm -hmm. heard Shannon on there, he answers the telephone just like that at the shop. Loved it. <laughs> Their podcast that came out this week has Braden on it, actually. This week? Or was it last week? Monday. Oh. Sorry. Okay, fine. Last week. Yeah, so I thought... It's a new week. I thought I saw when they came out with one today. Or something like that. Why do you use the fine point off-center draws as opposed to... The standard draws for these flies. So the shanks that I'm tying on are really, really small, and I'll show you really quick the uh, how these are clipped together. If I was using the standard standard jaws, I wouldn't be able to uh, grip them on the vise. Well, take it back. I would, but you wouldn't be able to tie because they would be um, in the way of each other. So, give me one second, clip these together. All right, so, there you go, right there. That is your connection that I've got to grip onto right there in the middle of them, right there. That's what I've got to grip onto with this uh, fine point jaws so with the standard jaws it's just you can do it but you really can't it's it's hard to tie around them. which ones do you pick like i'm playing bingo g413 <laughs> there's that hook base going down and then the intruder wire the small thin whatever it and is in small they do come in different sizes in the thin all right so the thin is for a hook size six, six or smaller mm -hmm. standard is for six and well, above that's for intruders it doesn't really matter with the game changers Don't even practice it. All right, so. <laughs> Tim says, I think a kid just got hit. Yeah, I know that sound. <laughs> Could not believe you said that. <laughs> I sounded just like it. All right, let's trim off that ore. Better you know that sound than not. It'd be a pain in the butt. Misbehaving thing. Tim, I want you to know he went somewhere for uh, trick or treating. He went somewhere for Hall well, friend's house for Halloween last night. And then the dad called my cell phone today and then sent me a text message. Hey, Casey, give me a call, please. Before I called the dad, I called this child and I 
he was over in the garage working on the boots as well. I said, anything you want to tell me about last night? Like, did you do anything wrong? Did you use bad language? Did you misbehave? He was, he said, no. I said, just wanted to check before I made this phone call, but it was all good. Dad just had a question for me. All right, so this is the original. Actually, I don't think I'm, I'm gonna use the, uh, drop my scissors. Oh, maybe that, there. Thank you. I'm gonna just use this regular chanel. Did you not cut a hole in your jeans? I've Something actually like done that before with these. Yeah, well, you be tying a fly or two to pay for a pair of jeans, mister. There we go. All right. Tie that in, bring the thread up to the front. Oh, uh, let's see, this says we're at 340 shares. Let me update it on this other, sometimes mine is behind. 342 shares. So you got eight more shares till we have one more giveaway. And I'm up to what? Jeez Louise. How many? This is just going to get wrapped all the way up to the hook eye. Tight touching wraps, packing that material tight. Every few wraps, I'm just coming in and picking out any of the fibers I might have trapped. It's easier to do it midway when you're tying than at the end mm -hmm. and you're going to have to go around everything. anyone's watching that has requested to be friends with Brayden and I might not have accept, we might not have accepted you um you can request again and you might just want to send a quick hey I watched you tying live because mama is a little funny about just allowing anyone so usually if there's not a friend in common I'm kind of hesitant Tied that off. 349. Here we go. Look, finish off. Pull that tight. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and trim this up just a tad and then color it. Oh, Larry. Some of these friend requests. They're scary. Even though his page is public on Facebook, we still have to accept any friend requests. Excuse me. Anyone can follow him on Instagram, which is kind of weird since yes. Facebook. Yes, G413. Whatever color that is. which I'm not going to butcher his last name. He says he's tying flies right now. He's tying woolly buggers. I'm going to zoom in on that part. Here, I'll come from above. Do we give any direction on anything you... Um, I mean, you just take the marker down to the core of the material. And, I mean, once that core soaks it up, it's it, it's in there. Yep. 
Okay. I'll put some back on. What marker? I just had the whole bag. Yeah. I don't put names on the stupid markers. These are. Oh, here they go. I'll post them for you. They're on Amazon. Oh, no. What? I got the glue a little bit too far down from where I wanted it, but it's You know why? Because you said these eyes are perfect. They're the best eyes I've ever put on. On your last plan. Yeah, for real. It still came out good. It's alright. It's time to fly. Joking. He is gonna knock you out. <laughs> oh, there you go. It actually does look pretty good still. I would finish it. Alright, take the Solarez Flex. My head is killing me. I actually saw these mar the markers that I'm getting ready to post right now posted by another fly tire and then it was flooded with comments about how many people love these markers com and how they compared them to the Copic marker. So here they are. It's 72 markers. They're $39.99 on Amazon and right now you get 20% off with some coupon. And Brayden is no way, shape, or form affiliated with Amazon, just so everybody knows. Really? I feel like the Hodge twins when they're like, this is not fact. You do not need to fact check me. <laughs> nice if you were. Come in some, a nice fancy smancy little carrying case. Tim, there you go. I'll have to tie some more up. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you for watching, Mr. Dugan. Um, what were you going... He said chip by more like it. What were you supposed to do at the end? Oh, the, the game changer. How are you hook the shanks into whatever? Alright, alright. Give me one second. Um, where are the other shanks? Do not do that. If you have any questions for Brayden, go for it while he does this. James says add six more to make that a dozen. <laughs> CJ says he has the same markers, but they don't have an airbrush to fit him like the um, Copic. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, so this is your eight millimeter um, micro shank, and this is a uh, 20 millimeter game changer shank. I mean, it still has a ton of action, but if you do it the other way, I mean, it really, I mean, there's honestly, there's no reason to do it the other way, just because I wouldn't see why you would want the micro shank in front of the bigger shank but i maybe there's something you want to do with that i don't know but there's the uh 20 millimeter original game changer shank clipped onto the eight millimeter micro shanks but you can also do that with the tent with the tail shank their micro tail shank i mean and the micro six millimeter shank Oop. what is that I got stuff flying. Mm. There 
Gary says, awesome as always. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Braswell. <sighs> Knocked it off. There we go. All right. Get all of this cleaned up. There we go. Oh, we're on beach though. I missed him earlier. Whoa. What's up? You, where you just zoomed out. I just saw it. It was very shaky because you don't do that normally. Mm -mm. Stephen says, wow. Always fun to watch. Looking forward to next week, said Ron. Awesome. What kind of glue? I responded to that. Mm -hmm. Do you want to say why you use that solar res flux? Uh, it's not... It's either not as tacky as some of the other glues that I've used or not tacky at all. Um, the solar is bone dry. The stuff dries super quick. It's it's crazy. And, I mean, you like you saw, I use it on every single shank. I don't even use super glue. And the solar is uh, flex and the thin. I mean, same thing. You, It's not tacky. I mean, it's just, it's really good. I like it a lot. See, I don't see those things coming as you're laughing. Um, all right, so you know Mike Sterling mm -hmm. um, from the office. Well, what the heck? I didn't notice that until I just like, redid my thing here. Um, little Mike wants to come over and you teach him how to tie. Cool, yeah. That'd be cool. How much more of a pain would it be to have, a multi to have multiple layers of marabou white? Slash pink on the bottom, gray slash green top. You can do that for the tail, definitely, yeah. Um, I would just use thinner amounts of marabou because you don't want a ton of drag in the back end of this fly or else it's not going to want to swim right. The whole deal with this fly is you want a thicker, denser head that, and that denser head is going to push water around the fly, making the back end swim. And having a really light and wispy back end on your fly, like the tail, it's it, it can be a, a totally different fly between two different game changers. I mean, even with this smaller hook, it's not going to make a huge difference. But I do still like even putting less marabou on it, making it... I mean, you can make the marabou longer and wispier, and it's it's crazy. I mean, it's awesome. I am up higher in the comments, so I hope you're watching. Uh, just a reminder, next week is Tony Muncy. Thank Follow you, Clifford. Following week is Shannon Messer. Followed by Tim the fourth week of this month. Uh, there one more, I believe, and I don't know that off the top of my head. <laughs> um, also, I will pick the winners from tonight's live. I know I say I'll pick them on Mondays, and for those of you who have won so far, you probably notice I don't do it on Mondays too often because... Since oh, sweet. All of my children are home. School's a little crazy. <laughs> Great years. That's awesome. It's wonderful. I have not taught you yet. And Thanksgiving Day, we will be announcing a new Norvice product. product and it it's will be for sweet. sale that day. So Definitely be on the lookout for that. It's, oh. it's pretty awesome. When I say for sale, don't... I don't know if there will be a Thanksgiving special on anything else, but I highly doubt these will be a special. I'm sure we can still give updates on it. So. Oh, there will be many updates between now and Thanksgiving. <laughs> All oh, right. Here you go. Thanks for a wonderful sharing. Take care of yourself and friends. Thank you. You too. What time is it there? I should know. Probably late. Oh. I'm going to smack you out of your chair tonight. <laughs> Alright, well, anything else you want to share? Um, oh, hold on, I can tell you really quick before he goes what time, when he's back on. I want to say in January. Oh, like Virginia show time? No, when you're back live here. Why not? Oh, uh, no, it's not the same weekend. Okay, <laughs> I was thinking, because remember, wasn't Virginia early in the month last year? I think so. Anyway. 
My my rambling. Or early. Brayden <laughs> is back January tenth, as of right now. If anything happens with another tire, he may be back sooner. Since I fill those spots. <laughs> what happens with an with another uh, tire? I said if anybody something happens with another tire, like if somebody gets sick or has to. Or can't Tim do breaks it. another arm or. Or you really? don't want to talk about that. He's going to blame that on you. It's all good. We all laugh. I laughed about it <laughs> afterwards. He, yeah, he's <laughs> laughing about it now, too. All right. Brian says, good job, buddy. Brian. Thank you. Brian's Thank back you, Mr. on. Denport. Last week, last Sunday of December, back with us. Arthur says, thank you. Well, Tim says, right. or early. Oh, Tim said or early because you For said time. it's late. Okay. I had to back it up. All right. Well, All right. well, I think that's about it. Um, thank you everyone for watching. Um, I, you can find me on Instagram at uh, Miller Time Flies or on Facebook as Braden Miller. Also, my website MillerTimeFlies.com, and this uh, Facebook Live will be posted on the Norvice face uh, YouTube page. So, the new YouTube page. Sit still. So if you want to check it out again afterwards, nor from dash Thomas. vice is what yep. they're listed at. they listed on YouTube. So, but just make sure it's on the new uh, YouTube channel because the older one has all the older videos and everything. So that was very complex right there. If you didn't know, <laughs> Lord Jesus. Um, yeah. And hopefully we'll have for those asking about Braden's sweatshirts or t-shirts, they should hopefully. Be up on his website this week we will post and on instagram and facebook and also probably his story and i'm sure it'll come through norvice page some way or another if you have any questions for brayden you can message him directly or if you have a question about norvice or the vice you can message norvice yep i won't answer the vice questions though <laughs> all righty well thank you everyone thank you all all for watching i had a lot of fun doing this and uh see you all in january